In this video, I am going to talk about string literals. We have used string literals already, but just I need to tell you what exactly they are in C programming. So this particular message in double quotes, welcome to GEHU Bhimtal, ending with a new line character and ending with a double quote is a perfect example of a string literal or an array of characters literal. So if I have to print something like this, I can say printf pass the string literal and printf is going to be sent the address of w and from starting from w, it is going to print all these characters till it encounters a null character. Now, what you need to understand is this particular welcome to GEHU Bhimtal also needs space or also is going to be allocated space in the main memory. So what happens is it is simply stored as a sequence or an array of characters in the memory. And this is the number of characters, but there is always one space extra allocated so that you can terminate it with the null character. So whatever is this message after the backslash n, there's going to be one extra space allocated so that you can end up inserting the null character. If you don't insert the null character in the previous video, you have seen what is the problem. After the enter character, it may print garbage till it encounters the null character. So for printf, the address of w is passed. So this particular is an example of a string literal in, sorry, string literal in C. Now, let us try to understand the difference between an array of a characters versus pointer to a character through a example. All right. So let's try to understand what is the difference between array of characters versus pointer to a character. Here name is an array of characters of maximum width 50. I have given it the message Bhimtal rocks. So assume that starting from the thousandth location, B is stored at 1000 and all the way it keeps storing one character per byte. So H is going to be at 1001, I is going to be at 1002, M is going to be at 1003, all the way till the null character which is going to be stored at 1015. You need to understand the space after L that is also a character because the space on the keyboard is also a special character. So UN space is allocated memory which is 1007. At address 1007, this space is also allocated memory. So this is how the memory map looks of Bhimtal rocks for this particular array of characters called as name. So after the 1015th character, once the null is placed, till the remaining whatever number of characters are there, the next 30, 35 characters are all going to be nulls. Because I have initialized it, just as when I initialize an array of numbers with one or two numbers and leave the rest, the rest gets zeros. So here same thing, after the null, all it's all going to be null, null, null and so on. So when I define a character array name 50, this is how it is exactly going to look in memory. Okay. Now, suppose I declare a pointer to a character type of data. That means star name one will give me a particular character and name one is simply going to contain an address as you can see here. When I say star name one is equal to Bhimtal rocks, name one is going to contain the address of B only. Address of B is what? 1000. So you can see in the circular box, address of B is 1000. Name one itself may exist at another location. Let us say 5000, 10,000, whatever it is, does not matter. So name one is not going to contain data like this array fellow is. Name one is simply going to contain the address of the B or the zeroth element of the array. In this case, it is address of B which happens to be 1000. So name one is a pointer to a character. The meaning of the star is when you apply star on name one, you can print B. Now this Bhimtal rocks, if I initialize it this way, is stored in an area of memory which cannot be modified. So if I try to change B, H or anything in this, the compiler is going to give me an error. That I'll try to show you not only through a demo which follows this particular video, but also as an example on the next page. Now, what I'm doing here is, here if you see, okay, let's take this out, not required. Here if you see, suppose I have name of 50 as GEHU, okay. If I want to modify this, what I can do is I can take a char star PTR. 
and initialize it with null so that I want to avoid PTR contain some random garbage address. So PTR is given name. So PTR will contain the address of the array or the address of G which is the zeroth element of the array. Now using PTR you can change this GEHU to HEHU, IEHU and so on. So that is the real moral of this particular story. So let's get that particular thing clear through this example which is also going to be demoed followed by this particular video. So I think let's not get distracted here. Let's block this off. All right. Not required. So here if you can see what I have done is I have declared name as GEU and pointer to a character type of data as GEHU. This is to show you the difference between character array and char star. Now what I have put in comments if I take this comment out and if I try to execute it during runtime on the online GDB compiler you will get segmentation fault error because this particular GEHU is stored in an area of memory which is read only or non modifiable. So PTR refers to address of G star PTR refers to G. So you are trying to change G to H so it doesn't like that it starts shouting at you. Now in order to change GEU I give PTR equal to name. So suppose name existed at address 1000 PTR now is at or PTR now contains the address 1000. Now if I say star PTR is equal to H this G is replaced with H. So now this becomes HEU. You want to prove that just print percentage S name. So instead of printing GEU it is going to print HEU. This can be verified by taking a look at the demo problem which follows this particular video. Please take a look at all the demo programs which follow all the concepts being explained in strings. This way your understanding of how actually it runs and any problem you can have in executing should be really clear to you.